This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by ajuice.com. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a creative typography animation using After Effects and Cinema 4D. Now, if you don't have Cinema 4D, you don't need to worry. You can use Cinema 4D Lite, which comes with After Effects itself. So without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to create a Cinema 4D file. So let's head on to File, New and create a Maxon Cinema 4D file. You can save it wherever that you want. I'm going to call this Typo. Hit Save. And as you can see, it has created a Cinema 4D file and also opened up Cinema 4D automatically. Now, I am using the Cinema 4D R20 version. If you don't have Cinema 4D, you can use Cineware, which comes with After Effects. Doesn't really matter. Now, there are a few things that we need to set up before we start. So let's head on to the settings and go into output. I'm going to change the width and height to 1920 by 1080. That looks good. Let's go into anti aliasing. Let's set this to best. And that is all that we need to do right here. Now, I'm going to click on this icon. So it's going to load up all the other viewports as well. So we have the right front and the top. Then let's go right over here. So click and hold and create an arc. Then I'm going to use a latte. So I'm going to go right here and let's add a latte. So this tool is very interesting and also very useful when you're creating some circular shapes like a bottle or you know anything that has to do with some circular design. So I'm going to drag and drop in the arc into the latte just like that. And as you can see right off the bat, we get this really nice dome and you can do a number of different things by moving the arc. So I can just move this and you can, you know, get a different shape or look that you want to go for. But I'm going to go into the front view and then let's move this just like that. So I'm basically dragging the X axis into the opposite direction creating kind of a tunnel that you can see in the main viewport. So that is what I'm going for. If I go into display and turn on the shading line so you can see we get something like this. Now we need to increase some segments. I can go into the latte and increase the segment just like that. Let's go back into the arc and let's change the intermediate points from adaptive to uniform. So we have this really nice shape that we want. Let's also create a new camera and set the camera focal length to around, let's go 25 millimeters and let's position it into the angle that I want. Okay, so that is good, I think. Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AE Juice. They have an amazing I Want It All bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions, presets, titles for your project. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Plus, they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. So if I render, you can't see anything because we need to add a texture on this. So let's create a texture. So in order to create a texture, I'm going to open up Photoshop. Let's create a new document. I'm going to set the width to 2000 by 1000. Let's set the resolution, bring that down to 72. That should work good. Hit on create. Then let's create a new solid color. I'm going to keep it black and then select the text tool. And you can, of course, type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in typo. Let's add a hyphen just for an interesting look. So I can hit control T and let's increase the size, make it really nice and big. Just like so. All right. So there we have our texture ready. I'm going to hit control S and save this. I'm going to call this texture. Hit on save. 
Let's go back to Cinema 4D, double click to create a new material. Let's open that up by double clicking on that. Turn off the color and the reflectance. We just want to use the luminance and let's add our texture. So I'm going to click on load image, locate the texture and click on open. Then I can drag this texture on the latte. And if I just preview this, you can see it looks pretty ugly at the moment. So we need to tweak the texture a bit so I can play around with the tiling so I can just you know, increase this up really high. Or maybe let's go with a minus. So let's set this to around. Let's go with something like 25. Let's try that out. And also I'm going to tweak the tiling U as well. So let's keep it somewhere around. Let's go with three. That looks super nice. And now we can animate the offset you to get the desired look. So as you can see, pretty interesting. As you can see, it's looking very, very nice, but we need to add some more depth to the design. So what I can do is I can jump back into Photoshop. Let's go into view and create a new guide layout. I'm going to set the columns and rows to three. Hit OK. Select the pen tool, make sure it's, make sure the pen tool is set on shape and not on path. With a stroke of three pixels, I can create some nice stroke just like that. Same for this one as well. There we go. I'm going to hit control S to save this up. Go into Cinema 4D, open up the material. Let's go right over here in the texture settings and reload image and boom there we have added some nice lines and as you can see now the typography looks to have much more depth into the scene and that is looking very nice. Let's hit control S to save the cinema 4D file go back into after effects you can drag it on this icon which is going to create a new composition. It's going to take a few seconds to load up and now you can see we can we have the design that we just created in Cinema 4D. I'm going to set the renderer from software to standard final. So we get the final output. And as you can see, this is looking very, very nice. Now, there are a few things that we need to fix, like the anti-aliasing issues that you can see right over here in the lines. So one thing that can work is if I select all the strokes, make sure the pen tool is selected and set this to five pixels. Hit control S. Go into Cinema 4D, open up the material, go into texture and load, reload image. Then hit Ctrl S and let's go back in After Effects. And boom, there we go. Looking pretty nice. Now, if we still get it, I can go back in Cinema 4D, go into settings, go into anti aliasing, and let's increase the minimum level to 4, 4 into 4. Let's render this up and now we shouldn't get any anti-aliasing issues as you can see it's looking very very nice. Now we need to animate our texture so it's very easy let's set the offset U to 0. Create a keyframe at the very start so offset U 0% then I'll go 3 seconds forward in time set this to 80 and create another keyframe. And then we have this very nice animation. But as you can see at the start, the animation starts in very slow and then speeds up. Now we need to basically linear out the keyframes. So to do that, I'm going to hit control D, which is going to bring up the keyframe interpolation settings. I'm going to set the interpolation from spline to linear. And then I can select these layers, right click, open up the show F curves and then select both these points and let's linear them out just like so. So now our animation will have a constant speed and as you can see it's looking very very nice. So if I hit control S go into after effects it's gonna get updated instantly. So now if I preview this it's gonna take few seconds to load up the animation. So as you can see it's looking very very nice. One more thing that I can do is add a little bit of rotation so let's select the material, move the time indicator at the very start and create a keyframe on the offset V. Go to 90 frames, that is 3 seconds and let's give an offset V of offset V of 10 and create a keyframe. 
let's go back let's see what we have so we have a little bit of rotation as well so that is looking very nice hit control s to save that up go into after effects and now if you want to change the color of the design you can create a new adjustment layer i'll call this cc and go into fix and presets type in tint and apply that up now you can swap the colors and change it or basically just pick whip any color that you want so maybe something like a nice blue and there we go super easy and super cool to create so you can add in your own text and you know create a really interesting look out of this so i hope this tutorial helps you in creating some creative typography using after effects cinema 4d and a little bit of photoshop so i'll see you guys in the next video that is a wrap for today i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next tutorial till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out